YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2. All right, folks, in this video, we're going to go over some very important things related to the Lost Forges. Bungie Effective immediately has made some changes to the Lost Forges or how they will relate to your power level. Also, we will go over how to solve the next step in the good old exotic mystery box quest that is active right now. And then also, I will show you a new strategy that you might want to use for the Volandur Lost Forge that's active right now. On Friday, we'll be getting a new one called either Gofanon or Gofanon. And I'll be covering that as well. Yeah, Friday's going to be a big day. We have Zer. Well, Zer is never a good day. We have the raid is dropping and a new Lost Forge. I'll be covering everything on Friday. But anyway, let's get into today's video. First off, Bungie issued a statement effective immediately. They're somewhat nerfing or reducing the power requirements for the Lost Forges. Let me read you some of this and I will link it in the description. So over the past day, we've been taking in your feedback. It's become clear that we made the initial power requirements for the Lost Forges too high, keeping those sweet new rewards out of reach. And actually, I got the auto rifle, I got two of the heavy machine guns, and I have my first piece of armor. And actually, that armor did drop with heavy machine gun reloader and also heavy ammo finder. To get a piece of black armory armor, you need to complete two of the weapon frames, so those ones that require a ballistics log. Now, I believe they're weekly. I have to go back in and check. I don't think it's going to reset Friday when we get that new Lost Forge. But I got lucky with the piece of armor and the auto rifle you saw in the beginning in terms of its perks. And then the heavy machine gun, I got the hammerhead, but with better perks. I got it with Surrounded and also with Feeding Frenzy. Back to the statement from Bungie. Sorry, guys. You know me. I'm all over the place with no script. All right. Bungie goes on to say, some players at 600 power have been unable to dive in and beat the final boss without grinding for new power first. We have just delivered a server-side update to reduce the power requirements for all the encounters in the Lost Forges by 5. So the first encounter was 610, now it's 605. Second encounter was 625, now it's 620. And the final boss, instead of being 630, will be 625. Bungie continues with, we fully acknowledge that this is a small move, but it is one that we could make today. This is not the full extent of the changes to the player experience that we are investigating, but it should give Guardians at 600 power a better chance at completing the activity. Now, just to chime in in terms of player experience, I feel like it's a little too short. What do you guys think in the comment section? I would like to see it a little bit longer. I mean, especially once we all get powered up, we're going to come in here and then this thing's going to be empty empty in about a month from now or even a few weeks once everyone starts powering up. But I would like to see it a little bit longer, maybe a few more waves, not like Escalation Protocol type, not that long, but I don't know. You know what? Let me know in the comment section. Bungie continues with, there are still many of you asking how you could catch up and acquire the power you need to join to recover these Lost Forges. That's a big issue right now is that there's so many folks who don't have the time to invest in the game right now to get up to even 600 power. If you don't have the time to play eight hours a day or even a few hours a day, you're probably still in the mid 500s and you're going to get wasted if you go into the Lost Forge right now. Bungie finishes off with saying the answers to those questions are coming. We have some existing plans and some new ideas in the pipeline. That conversation will continue in the This Week at Bungie. So I'll keep you covered on Thursday when the This Week at Bungie hits. Next up, let's talk about how to complete the next step of the Mystery Box Exotic Quest, which is the Fish Hook Lock Opened. Shout out to Esoteric. As usual, he finds everything first. I will link his channel in the description. Let me show you how to complete this. What you want to do is between rounds one and two, go start looking at this ledge right here and start aiming down sights. If you have a sniper, it makes it a little bit easier. I was using a Scott rifle and my friend Anthony Thing sniped it. So you're going to sit here and wait, and when the next round spawns, there it is, that little circular thing there, that little orb thing, uh, he just sniped it. Then you want to turn around and look right in that direction where I am right now, he just sniped it again. Uh, on those two ledges right there, that's where they are. You just need to snipe those things or shoot those things. Once they die, once you complete the actual round, at the end, you will have an extra box to open up. When you open up that box, that thing will have a black armory key. That key you put into the mystery box, and that's your next step. So Anthony Thing also found a much better spot to stand to waste the boss. Right in this ledge right here, just follow where all three of us are. 
You could stand right here and completely head glitch the boss because he will go to the middle. You will not have ads that spawn behind you. Uh, preferred if you have a Well of Radiance because that will help with damage. But if you're high powered enough, I would bring a Whisper of the Worm. Sleeper Simulant is always a good option. But you can see the boss, he just wants to move into the middle because he wants to get sights on us. So there he goes. Goes right in the middle. We're going to take a shield down and then lay into him. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end to become legend. And guys, I apologize if I've not been keeping up with the hashtag legends in the comments. You guys have been crushing it with the comments, the views. Welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome to the Mesa Army. It's been an awesome week and uh, pretty hyped. I'm having a good time with Black Army so far. That's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually, you know, it's on YouTube. And that is it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Thank you.